Howdy folks and welcome to another Hogwarts Legacy video. Today we're on a rescue mission, so join in as we hunt down and save Roland Oaks. Poor guy's got himself caught up in a mess that he just can't handle, and someone's got to save him. So this uh, wonderful fifth year student is going to come save the day. So leave a like, smash that subscribe, leave a comment down below, tell me what y'all think. This is absolutely absurd, but you know what? We're going to do it. And as always, thanks for tuning in, folks. I'll catch you on the flip side. Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? And Oaks loyalists, just ahead. Hmm, should I take them by force or be discreet? Let us be discreet. What have we here? Another human? Oh, I'm long for a bacon and mushroom stew. Avelia. So I was wondering. Sure are a lot of them. The fact that that one is just chilling right over there. Oh, I can't see them all the around. painful I'm not gonna lie I got all turned around and couldn't see the first per the, the third person kind of bit me a little bit there mr oaks's trade rocks lot agreed to me but i do feel a tad uneasy they amended their requests and were angry when i asked questions i heard some of their plan in gobbledygook they're after my rare metal deposits that are suitable for drilling I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile. And I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we can work at a compromise. Perhaps not. Rolling notes. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades. Maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Okay, we've got a cave here. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Revelio. Identify back item and ambush one. Okay. So this is literally considered an enemy camp. It's also some kind of animals down below me. The real question is will I get lucky and will it be floopers? Nifflers. Everything's all right now. All right, we got a nippler. Just so you know, all the I have only one bag, and it's It's exhausting. Stand here all day waiting to do Rookwood's work for him. He can fight his own battles. We 
got a niffler. Now we're gonna go in here and we're gonna take a look to see what's inside. Oh, the journal. Blast a hole in the door. I should investigate. Revenia. it would appear there's more of them up above though anything else that I need from here I don't think so oh there's a bunch of undead by the looks of it up above right, use Roland's map to follow his trail let's take a look at this map Down the river and on the left. Well, I know I've never had a A rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now, to find the crooked tree. Just as the map said, the crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. Crumbling tower. Up this way, there's a crumbling ruin. What do we have here? A goblin outpost. Now, let's double check our map again. Crooked tree. Goblin outpost. At least I'd assume that's what he's saying is the goblin outpost. More luck higher up in the keep. I can't dismount here. Why not? Who lived here, I wonder? up a bit. Loyalist One of the best meals I've ever eaten. The Coro Ruins. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be. I'll definitely say this. Hit a ranger with stupefy. Slam a leaping Loyalist commander to the ground. Complete the battle without using a wig and weld potion. Oh, so this is like a whole battle I'm supposed to be fighting. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone.
perhaps not. Is this truly where I'm supposed to be, though? Pavilion. I don't think it is. what I need. Patrol. Use a mandrake against an enemy. Steal this a looks like trouble. Crossbow bolt. Oh, I've got a man. have my wits about me. This is the spot on the map, okay. <laughs> Launch a burning enemy into another enemy with Depulso. I don't even think I have Depulso equipped, do I? Okay. No, I do, okay. Revelia. Okay, so realistically I need... Some actual usable stuff here. Oh, damn it. Okay. Um, already forgot what I had in that spot, realistically. I'm gonna guess it was that and probably still be wrong. I don't rightly know where I'm supposed to take that. Over here. Makes sense. Maybe not. Let's just keep going. The Caro Ruins. Bum bum bum. What will we find in here? Pavelia. Don't know, but we shall see. It's punishment to us all.
not run away? Intend to die, do you? How are you still up there? Were spot on. Okay. Well, we finished a feat to defeat goblins at least. Some progress. Hello, Hamora. We have a locked door. Fooled you all to your demise. Revelio. What's up here? Ah, upstairs access. be able to cheese it. It's probably got all of maybe three gold in it. But... No, no, what do you do? Oh my god. I hit no buttons there. I went to zoom in. That was it. Stop moving. Aim. school rope. Now you can jump down. Thank you. Okay, I need to fix my spells because I got them all over the place and that's no bueno. Okay, combat's on the left. Top and left is combat. Support on the right miscellaneous on the bottom but we want the bag up tippity top oh, damn it I did it again I don't really need Evanesco down here I reckon it doesn't really matter though does it I'll do it so it doesn't confuse me Revelio. Oh, hello. Revelio. There's an army of goblins in here. A human's word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. Yeah, I'm not gonna have any choice but to fight.
just irritated. Rebellion. Incendio. Ah, beautiful bonus room. We'll grab the loot up here for Rebellion. Sorted out shortly here. Revelia. Ooh, a bunch of wigan welds. Can't complain there. Love these little bonus loot rooms. Resources down here. All right, we'll come back around this way in a second. First, incendio. Slide our happy butts through here and grab the bonus loot. So that wants me to go that way. Can I open this door yet? I can't. Boom, baby. 
Okay, so theoretically, grab this here. Looks like that was everything. Now for the loop. Roland Oak. This must be Mr. Rooks' room. Perhaps now he can set himself free. How could he set himself? Okay. That's how I get upstairs. Check our gear real quick, see if we got any upgrades while we were here. Seem to have picked up a bunch of stuff, but no upgrades. Back down the weird tunnel that we found. I'm actually glad I did come this way. Pavelia. That's what I was missing. down there. Hello? M Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. <laughs> what are the odds? I've heard them speaking it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Oh, you found it? Hurry, the wand is coming. I must say that. Hurry! my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin you're either very lucky or very talented well, how did you find me i'm a friend of adelaide's she was worried about your business with ranrock's loyalists oh she was right to be i couldn't go through with the agreement and when this i told them i so ended up blindfolded and behind bars funny. <laughs> not in that infernal cell for Especially so long, for they forgot I was even there. I mean, there. I understand that wizards and witches I don't typically do a lot things. of manual labor. If only I could reward you for time. what you've done. Blasting <laughs> goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. What did you overhear, and do you speak gobbledygook? Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. <laughs> so what did you overhear? You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. 
Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. Well, I'm glad I'm I was grateful able to help. I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Uh, he... Okay.